what's up guys i'm back here with another unboxing uh this is another sky 2 figure so as you know i really like sky 2 figures so i just keep on ordering them uh, especially when i see them on me because they make really awesome figures and then this one looked really nice from what i saw this is another t2 art girls 1 6 scale figure from vault so it's ai psyche i think that's how you say it i probably said it wrong like i say a lot of other things wrong but here is a picture of how she'll look, and it's a cast off figure, so you can take that off. There she is in the box, and you'll see that. When I take her out a little better, to the back of the box. So you see, you can take take off her clothes and have her without it, or you can have her with the skirt on. Your choice, you can have her exactly how you want her. So, let's see if this figure looks as good as the picture shows here and how I saw it on my figure collection. Let's get this unboxed. Okay, here it comes with instructions on how, how to take off every, uh, basically all the pieces of her clothes. And then it comes with this little postcard. A lot of Sky 2 figures come with the postcard, so it's really nice. Uh, you can just keep it in the plastic or harbor. I usually just display them in the display case with them. So that's probably what I'll do with this one. Okay, so in this box, here is the thing that she sits on, so let's take that out. So it's just a really soft foam, um, like pillow type of thing. So as you can see, it's like uh, silky on one side, and then this is the, the side that she will be laying on, and it's just like a, a soft fabric. So put that aside. And that's how that comes in there. Get rid of that plastic. And here's how she comes. See, her arm fell off. Throw this plastic off. Uh, first thing I know is, is that they, they actually left that in. I, I like when when they leave that in, not like um, one of the other figures I got, the cat girl one, they took it off. I really wish they didn't, because it just makes it not look as natural. But this one they left it on, so I like that. All right, so I, I finally got all the plastic removed off of her. So um, it was I actually had to take all of her clothes off. So I'll put it back on in a bit so you can see how she looks with it. But it's just easier showing you how she looks now. So here is uh, the first thing I noticed right here is her face looks slightly different from how it did on the picture of the prototypes. So you can see uh, she has a slightly different uh, facial expression. It's not bad. This looks nice, it just looks slightly different from the pictures I was seeing on my figure collection. But I mean, it's still a nice figure, that was just well, one thing I noticed. See, there you go, get a better focus. But I mean, she's still a really nice figure. Um, I don't know if, I, if you can take this off, I think it just stays on there. But it looks fine like that. I'll find out right now. It just still looks really nice. And like I said, I really like that. Uh, they, they kept this in there. Because I don't like what, when they take it off. Because it, it just makes it look uh, le less natural. But they kept that on there. So, let's put the skirt on and then see how she looks with all that. Okay, so I believe this is already either my fifth or sixth figure by SkyTube. So, uh... If you've seen my other videos, you know I really like Sky 2 figures as well as Orchid Seed and Native. They make really good cast off figures. So this figure is really nice. Like I pointed out in the beginning well, when I was unboxing it that her face seemed a little bit different to me. And it, it sort of is. It's not bad though. But it would have been nice if they kept it the same, exactly the same as uh, the prototypes that they were showing on my figure collection. So keep that in mind before you, if you're thinking of buying this figure, is that it's going to look slightly different. But I did do a close-up shot so you can see it. And I'll, I'll put the original picture of the prototypes on, of that are posted on my figure collection so you can see the slight difference on it. Like I said, it's not a, it's not a bad figure. It still looks really nice. It's by SkyTube, so you'll see the quality is really nice on this. As you see... It's very easy to take off uh, her clothes. All you do is take off her skirt, which just unclips from the bottom. It's just uh, two small uh, clips that go in on the side, and then it just it just leans on her thighs, and then that that's how it is. It's very easy to 
know exactly how to put her skirt because it's shaped according to um, how it would be if uh, it was actually soft and laying on her so it would shape with her thighs and then as well as her shirt. Her shirt stays open so uh, her breasts are always going to be exposed which is really nice because they look very nice. Um, so you see that you can't take her panties off so they're just going to be uh, laying on her ankle and then they're, they're just going to stay there so um, that, that that's fine with me. It would have been nice if you can take them off but just having them like that is fine. It looks really nice. So even if you have her uh, with no clothes on, the her panties are going to be right there. They're not in the way or anything. Uh, I know some people probably like it if you can just take everything off, but um, it's uh, it's not a big deal for me. I was, the, I, was I like having uh, just a panty slip right there. I actually, I actually think it looks really nice. Uh, one thing I like to point out is that when I was taking her shirt off at first, um, the bow tie that she has on there fell off really easily. Um, I wasn't really mad because. I can easily fix that with just a very, very small amount of clear super glue. But it just really sucks that uh, it was only stuck on just like a very small millimeter of it. Uh, had whatever they used to stick it onto the PVC. So when you're taking off her shirt, you have to actually maneuver it around where her shoulders are. And I accidentally pushed on the bow tie and it came off fairly easy. So uh, that's one thing that you always have to be careful with cast off figures is that sometimes when you're taking off the clothes um, something will might snap or anything like that so just be very careful with that especially if you're getting this figure we're taking off her shirt be careful with the bow tie because it might fall off like mine did but uh, luckily I have I have had to repair some or unluckily I had to repair some figures but it's very easy if you have a uh, the right super glue to do it because some super glues are very gooey and it doesn't look good when you fix it. Moving on with the with the base, as you see, it comes with a little uh, soft pillow looking base. Um, it looks really nice. It looks like she's sitting on a bed. In a way, a circle bed. It was really nice to, to have a different type of base. Most bases are just a uh, plastic or a plain black piece with their name on it, something like that. So what I like that Sky2 did with this one is actually have uh, more like a bed on there. So it looked really nice because on the picture, I believe she's actually is uh, laying on a bed. So it's nice that they kept it like that. So I really did enjoy this figure. Um, as, as long as you can look past that, it was it looks slightly different from the prototype, and you'll probably see that on the comment sections of her page on my favorite collection. And uh, other fair collectors have uh, also said this, as I was actually seeing that just making sure that mine wasn't like bad. But still, if you can look past that, you you'll still get the same great quality that Sky Two offers. Uh, the same great detail on their figures so I, I will always keep on buying sky 2 figures and until they decide to like stop caring about the quality of their figures but i would really still recommend this figure it's a really nice figure uh, attention detail is awesome very great cast off figure and then especially uh, the way she's posed i really liked it so that's actually the main reason why i got her is because i liked uh, the way she was posed this is the first i believe uh sky tube scooter outfit that i have so it was very nice and then the way where um her, she, she's actually just taking off her clothes and then it's exposed so it's very nice and um, like I said I really like that they, they left uh, the vagina on the bottom because I don't like some figures that they remove it and it doesn't look as natural anymore especially if uh, you're a figure collector that likes to uh, take off the clothes and just have her display like that I mean some people don't really care since they'll display them with the clothes on but uh, for me I like that they keep it natural and they keep it how it really looks so like I said, it's a very nice figure. I really recommend if you were on the edge of buying this figure. And then there's the other fault figure that, that I bought that also works, really looks really nice. So I'll probably have these together next to each other. Both from Sky2, both really nice figures. So I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and quick review of this 1-6 scale figure of the T2 Art Girls of Fault from Sky2. This is AI Psyche. Like I said, I probably said it incorrectly. You can correct me in the comments. So I would really like to know exactly how to say it. Or if I was even close to saying it. But yeah, like I said, I would rec recommend this figure if you like cast off figures. Especially if you like Sky 2 figures. Because they, they make really nice figures. Also, if you're interested in other figures that I have, I have uh, the link to my figure collection on the video description below. As well as if you want to see what other figures I'm getting, uh, right when I get them, I usually post them on my Twitter. So if you want to follow me on there, you can see other figures I'm getting. So I should be getting some 
I think two or three other cast off figures next month that I have on pre-order in Ami Ami. And I'll probably be doing another doujinshi haul or tapestry haul because uh, I haven't done that in about a month. So probably get some more. As you see, I have some, or as you've probably seen my other videos, I have gotten some other tapestries. And I'll probably get some new ones and then take uh, some down and kind of change it around. Because honestly, I don't have room for all the tapestries I have, but I like to at least put them up for at least a year or something and then move them around but as always let me know if you like these unboxings if you like more figures like this more uh nendroids i do have another nendroid unboxing of uh legend of zelda nendroid 553 so you'll be seeing that soon i'll be doing an unboxing and quick view on that uh was really looking forward to that nendroid it got delayed but i have it now so i'm happy about that so you'll be seeing that and uh hopefully more sky tube native or sky tube native or uh orchid seed figures those are the top three of cast off figures that I usually buy. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.